I think that Clark's really, um, you know, as the series has progressed, she's gone through this crazy moral, you know, she's had these moral dilemmas, like, you know, it's, it's really hard for her having to make these decisions, like in episode 11, where she, and she feels the, the ground and to get out of the, that cell. And, um, she's just in, in warrior mode, you know. She, she needs to find her friends. It comes from a good place, but she's willing to do whatever it takes to find them. Uh, it, was, it was crazy to shoot. It was really fun. Really fun. So would you say both of your characters get a little bit more cutthroat in the season two? I'd, I'd say it's a little bit different for Raven. She, um, I think she started out pretty kind of cutthroat, or not cutthroat, but just in terms of feral, I'd say. She already didn't have a lot of friends, she didn't have much family, just her and Finn. She's very kind of mistrusted of others, and just very independent, you know. She learned from a young age to not need anyone, to not want anyone, and, you know, screw everyone else. And the hundred, I think, has taught her actually that she does need people. And she needs love, and she needs connection, and she cannot survive all on her own. So I think to see Raven really struggle and be vulnerable and have to open up for her way to survive. And that her survival is, um, by the way, of her friends and the people in her new life now. So I think it's almost a little bit opposite for Raven. But even that's an interesting kind of strength that she develops. So we noticed that she survives because you've never made a series regular. Nope, unless you're going to be a corpse for a whole season. Can you imagine? <laughs> series regular. But I'm dead. Yeah. The first Flash first. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, you never know. So is she in Mount Weather? Is that where we'll find her? I don't think we can tell you that. I don't know if we can. Yeah. I don't know if we can. I'm going to say yeah. if Jason didn't mention Now that like all the art people are down on land, and we, we know that Raven and Abby had a really good relationship, are we going to see any more of that in season two? Of them meeting up, like possibly? I think um, I think that's definitely something that should happen. I mean, I don't know at this point, but I think that it is, it is certainly owed um, to the story that, that things are well reconnected. And I think it's, it's going to be really interesting to see how that, like, that dynamic. I mean, when the people on the Ark saw us last, we were kids, we were scared kids, and now we're like we're we're self-sufficient kick-ass adults, and I think it's going to be crazy. So sort of it's, it's an experience for the adults. You know, they yeah. have to see us in a new way. Yeah, and I think that's troubling for them. It's, it's it's just like, you know, when you're, as a parent, your kids go to college and they come back and they're like, who is this, yeah. who is this, like, adult here, like, yeah. making des decisions, living their life. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's and they have to go through that, but um, a big, a big theme of the second season is reunions. Mm -hmm. Unexpected ones. And so, uh, yeah, I think you'll definitely get to see that dynamic play out. Can you talk a little bit about Clark's reaction to seeing the painting of the Starry Night? Because in the pilot, you know, she's drawing the star, I mean, not yeah. the star night, but she's drawing no, the, the night, and then she, um, you know, <laughs> and then she sees that picture. Yeah. Can you talk about, like, what do you think was kind of going through Clark's mind when she saw that? Well, I was, um, I played it a few different ways as we were, as we were shooting. One was that she saw a, a correlation between, between what she, her, like, um, uh, her, her drawing and her ideas and her thoughts and I think she finds it really mesmerizing in that way. Maybe thinking these people haven't, you know, they haven't seen the ground either and this is their interpretation. Um, also, uh, I've, I've sort of played it as a, um, as just, I mean, I, I'm trying to think, like, has she studied art before? You know, and has she seen this famous painting before? And is she wondering, like, where the hell did these people get this? Who are they? Why? Why is it here? So there's, you know, there are a few different, different takes. I mean, at, at the end of the day, it just ends up me going like. <laughs> but these but are the things that are going so through my head. Yeah. <laughs> you bring so much more. Yeah, but you think like, about it. Oh this one thinks about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, babe. I know, babe. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let the blonde hair fool. Yeah. Oh no. Are you looking forward to the reunion between Clark and Abby? Hmm? Are you looking forward to the Clark and Abby reunion? I would like to see, I would definitely like to see that, yeah, yeah.
I, I, I think that there's so much to play in it. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. Well, and the oh, Raven and so Abby. Y'all got, got a lot to talk about. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Well, and Raven and Abby, too. Yeah, yeah I mean, totally. Yeah, but, I mean, as far as Clark oh, and Abby, oh, so much shit has gone down. Yeah. <laughs> Mom and yeah. my daughter got a lot yeah. to hash out. Yeah, we got to talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my dad and her. Yeah. 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 yeah.